departure. Welcome, good day and hello to silent time. The opportunity to think on what is really important in life. What comes to your mind when you think of departure? Many times there is sadness involved when people say goodbye to each other. For example, in the airports, when a good friend leaves and goes somewhere far away, or family members saying goodbye to each other. Or even worse, when a beloved family member needs to go to war, even man might be crying in that situation, wiping. Or even worse, when we need to say goodbye in the last hour of a person, in the last hours or days. It is very sad. Often departure goes hand in hand with, sad with sadness. But it is not always the case. When the disciples said goodbye to the Lord Jesus, they were having joy. Luke 24 verses 50 to 52. Jesus led them out of the city as far as Bethany, where he raised his hands and blessed them. As he was blessing them, he departed from them and was taken up into heaven. They worshipped him and went back into Jerusalem, filled with great joy. Filled with great joy. How comes? They say goodbye to each other, a person they had spent so much time together in the last couple of years, and yet they are filled with joy. How many memories might the disciples have had? Memories for the time when they walked with Jesus through the cities, the villages, or the countryside. Maybe they remember how Jesus had told them the secrets of the kingdom of God. How he had performed miracles, amazing miracles that nobody could explain. All that is over in that moment. He departed from them and was taken up into heaven. He departed, departure, and yet you read that there was great joy. How comes? The disciples had understood that now their master is the king over everything, over everything, over the big world and the universe, the whole earth all countries, and also he is now the Lord over our lives. The big matters where our life is heading, the big targets, and also our the small, small minor things, the daily issues, the daily troubles, the daily sorrows. God knows them all. He is the master over all that. And he is now seated in heaven, loving us, caring for us, wanting to help us, even if we do not deserve it. Lord, we thank you for that great love, for your help. You are the creator of the universe, and you know where the world is heading. And you are also the master over our lives. You know all the big and small matters in our lives, our headaches, our challenges, our targets, and also what we have failed to do. We do not deserve your help and we ask for forgiveness for all what we have done wrong and what we should have done and did not do it. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your love, for your help. Pray that you change us and make us suitable to fit into your kingdom. Praise be to you forever. Amen.